Need to share data between multiple components, but tired of tracking down reducers and keeping track of contacts? Well, now you don't have to. Hi, I'm Kale, and I make videos about engineering patterns I've experienced as a principal engineer. Message queues are commonly used to pass data between multiple backend services. But today, let's create a simple React app to demo PubSub best practices and how it can be applied to a front end. We're going to create two simple components for this demo. The first one will just be a simple greeter that shows a generic message until the user logs in, and then it'll swap to greet them by name. Our second component will allow the user to sign in. We'll keep this really simple for now and just have a one-click sign in. In practice, you would submit credentials to some authentication system. Let's add both components to our app now. Now what? We have two components that need to communicate. We could pass some shared functions, but that gets tricky, especially if we change their hierarchy. We could use the provider pattern with contacts, but those can get bloated quickly if you're not disciplined. This is where PubSub can come in to save the day. I recommend always publishing messages which represent some events, not state. Rather let the components determine their state based on the event that occurred. Let's create our user logged in event. Think of an event as a contract for communication. To enforce the contract, we'll have the parameters be part of the constructor. Our demo is a web app, so let's use the browser's built-in event system for our PubSub implementation. We will create a subscribe method that takes a contract definition, not an instance of one, and a handler to execute when the event occurs. We'll add a little syntactic sugar to make handlers easier to write, and then register it with the event system. Finally, we'll return a handle that can unsubscribe itself, so we can clean up. Now let's create the publish method. It's a lot simpler. All it will do is convert an instance of a contract to a native custom event. And hand it off to the native event system. Let's go back to our login component and make it publish a user logged in event with a dummy user account. Now back to our greeter component to subscribe to the same event. We'll return a cleanup function so we can unsubscribe when the component gets destroyed. We definitely don't want to leave lingering subscriptions. Great, now we have two completely separate components communicating. Having the sign-in button still visible after we log in is a little bit silly, so let's go make that hide. Conveniently, we have an event already that tells us when to do this. All we need to do is subscribe and update some state. The pattern we just built is exactly the same for backend systems. Only difference is your message queue or event reactor is generally a system like Google PubSub, my favorite, or RabbitMQ, another excellent choice. If you'd be interested in a video on using PubSub on backend services, let me know in the comments down below.